I want to give you four retention secrets that can make you thousands, okay? Uh, but before I do that, I want to tell you a story. I was unlucky enough this year to go and have uh, a root canal at the dentist. I'm not sure if you've had a root canal before. It is super painful when you, your root gets infected or inflamed and they have to drill down and clean it all out and fill it in. And it costs a lot of money and there's a lot of pain. <laughs> and then um, the dentist uh, obviously is not the favorite place where most of us like to spend our time. But... In choosing a dentist to go to to have this uh, horrible experience, I ended up choosing a dentist that is actually much more expensive than all the others. And I was just blown away uh, by the whole experience. So everything, they had, well basically they had thought of every single step as me of a customer coming into their business. So when I walked in, I was obviously greeted by some really friendly receptionists. They offered me a glass of water. I could sit in this really nice waiting room and there was TV and there was a whole bunch of things you could do. Um, everything was, you know, absolutely clean, perfect. There was nice music playing. Uh, when I sat down and I, I met the, the dentist first and we talked about things and then he, he talked to me through the whole procedure. He, uh, he just made sure that everything that we were doing, I knew what was happening. Everything around me also had the best technology. Everything was new and fancy, and he sort of talked about what was what was going on. And then after the procedure, they even gave me like a hot, warm towel to, you know, sort of wipe your face and sat you down. And then they talked about the procedure, how it went. They showed you pictures of what was happening. Then they talked about the vision for your teeth in the long term. You get the idea. The whole thing was amazing. And it wasn't, the experience didn't just finish there. Obviously, I left and I paid, and you sort of, you got a numb face, and you're like, thank, thank you very much. <laughs> um... But the next day, the uh, the people ring you and at the reception, and they say, "Hey, um, you know, doctor, what's whatever their name is, has asked me to call and see how you're going, how are you feeling, and and they ask you these questions, and they encourage you, and you know, wish you a good day, and and, and then they talk about the next appointment or whatever. So it was just an absolutely incredible experience as far as dentists go. Now I would have paid a lot extra compared to other dentists. But the experience was so good, and I felt so safe and calm, relaxed, and talked through everything. I will, almost 99%, I'm sure, I'll never go to a different dentist again. And in my lifetime, I'm going to spend a lot more on dentistry than I could by saving elsewhere, because they provided the best experience. And so when I think through that experience, here's four thoughts that can apply to our music teaching business, um, or music schools, okay? So the first one is having that big picture experience. Actually thinking through every single step a customer of yours would go through. So starting um, and doing a full assessment of your service. Go to your website, figure out what does it look like? Is it easy to find everything? Is it easy information? What's the sales process like? You know, how friendly are the phone calls as, as you relay with the customer and get them signed up? When they walk in, was parking easy? Was your reception clean and tidy? Was the lesson room tidy? Was the tutor friendly? How did they greet them? Um, were the resources there available? Were there you know, pre-planned things in place so they could actually walk out with something exciting? Did they get to meet anyone else? Did they um, get set some sort of homework? Was there a clear sort of call to action uh, that they needed to do after that first lesson? You get the idea, right? Have you thought through the whole experience? That is point one to really help with retention. Think through the whole experience. Even if you literally have to walk outside, start from the car park, walk through the whole process and have a journal, write down every note that you can think of. Um, try to see every detail about the whole experience. Point number two was that they had a passion for technology. Now, many of us won't have a lot of money to have all sorts of fancy technology, but there are so many things that we can use to enhance the experience. And if it's just you sitting in a room playing a piano and having scrappy bits of paper, that's actually there's actually no excuse for that in this century, right? There's so many apps, there's emails, there's Google Drive, there's... There's Facebook, there's you know YouTube videos, there's all sorts of things that you can add into your lesson experience, which shows that you care about the technology. Now, I felt safer. I felt that uh, the dentist really cared because they had invested in all these extra technologies. 
So I encourage you to think about what technologies can you build into your lesson experience, even if it's as simple as emailing PDF charts or assignments home after the lesson, or filming a little example of here's how to practice it, I'll demonstrate it on your phone, and then emailing that to them so when they get home they've got that. So think about technology. Number three, the dentist sat down and cast a vision for my teeth. It was like, okay, here's a few things we need to tweak. Um, we'd like to get this fixed. And, you know, um, and he sat down and just said, this is where we're heading. He had a plan. And that's just actually really cool. It's being proactive versus being reactive. So how often do you actually talk to your students about not just what they're learning a, les a little lesson, but learning this is going to open this door, and then it's going to open this door, and then you're going to be able to do this. You're going to be able to perform perform this, you're going to be able to you know, enter this program. You need to be able to cast a vision that gets people excited, wanting to come back, wanting to stick around. Last thing was, number four, surprise and delight. Um, they called me the next day. I wasn't expecting it at all. They also gave me that hot little towel at the end. And even though that was simple, it was really cool. Like, even though I didn't really need it, it just felt really cool and professional and exciting and it was, a, it was a nice surprise that I was delighted with. So you want to try and surprise and delight your students. Now that could be as simple as doing a random phone check-in during the week. Hey, how are you going? How's your practice going? Hey, I was really impressed with your uh, tuition, oh, sorry, your lesson this last week. Or it could just be, hey, I bought you a candy cane today because it's Christmas time. Or, hey, um, you've done so well, I want to give you a bonus chocolate bar. Or, hey, I took this really cool photo of you um, uh, in lessons the other day. I've, I've made it up into a cool little, um, you know, little sort of design with your name. And, you know, it says something like about you being a rock star. And here, I want to give it to you. Whatever you can think of, you want to try and surprise and delight your students and parents. So those are four really cool retention secrets that will make you thousands if you start to apply those sorts of things. There we go. So for more awesome uh, retention secrets and templates and resources and systems that we've created in our big music school, you can head over to buildamusicschool.com if you are not already there. And I will see you over there. Thanks, everyone. Hope that is very helpful.